Hello Peter, how's it going? Did you do Mrs. Goodman's homework? Hey Charlie, no, I didn't do that homework. I didn't have time yesterday. What were you doing? Don't tell me your dad arrived from Paris yesterday. Exactly. He arrived last night and he brought a lot of presents. So, you know. Obviously. We went to France last year. We brought a lot of expensive clothes. Well, that didn't bring a lot of clothes, but he brought very expensive rings, shoes and devices. Cool. Then you were checking your gifts and that's why you didn't do the homework. That's right. He's traveling today again. He's going to Dubai this time, I think. You know, he has to supervise the banks he owns all around the world. That's why he's never at home. I suppose so. My parents also travel a lot. They just arrived from China last week. They went to check some of the factories they own in that country. He brought a lot of devices. That's cool. Hey, can you lend me $400? I ran out of cash. Why is that? You always have cash with you. Don't tell me you don't have money. Of course I have money. It is just that I left my credit card at home and I don't have any cash. I only need $400 to go out with my girlfriend today. I'll pay you back tomorrow. Oh, I see. Don't worry. I'll lend you $500 just in case you need more. And there's no need you give me that money back. I have $1,000 and I don't know what to do with that. Cool. Hey, did you see the new student? He was wearing sandals yesterday. Oh, do not even remind me that. I heard he comes from a poor family. How did he get here? I don't know. I guess he must have won the lottery. Or something like that. Because our parents pay like thousands of dollars every month, so we can study here. The quality of this institution is going down. Did you see his hair and his clothes? I don't even know what kind of clothes he's wearing. And the worst thing is that hey shh shut up there he is he's coming towards us be cool hello boys what are you doing i think we're in the same class aren't we hello yeah i think we are you are the poor i mean the new student right What's your name? My name is Lalo. I just arrived last month, so this is my first month in this institute. I see. Well, nice to meet you, Lalo. It's the first time I hear that kind of name. <laughs> well, my grandfather's name was Lalo, so my dad decided I had to be named like that. Don't worry, I like your name. Mm, I also like your cup. It really looks cool. Oh, thank you. My mother gave me this cap in my last birthday. I love it. Of course you love it. Otherwise, 
you won't be wearing that. <laughs> what brand is it? Huh? I don't think it has a brand on it. She bought this on the street. A woman in my country made it. Yeah, that's obvious. By the way, my name is Peter and he's Charlie. We're best friends. We have studied here for many years and... Let me tell you, this is the first time we... It's the first time we meet someone like you. I mean, it's not about you. It's just that... Uh, I don't know how to say this. You look a little different from all the people in this institute. Oh, thank you, I suppose. Yeah, I could notice that people here were and talk different. <laughs> It's good, you've already noticed that. And where are you living now? Is it near here? No, I don't live near here. My father wanted to rent a house in this town, but we decided not to do it. Of course you didn't do it. Houses here are real expensive for people like you. It's impossible. Um... To be honest, we didn't like this place much. We just preferred to live... Oh, you don't need to explain. We perfectly know what you're talking about. Don't worry. And why did you decide to study here? I mean, you're far from your country, aren't you? Well... I investigated a lot before coming here. People say this is the best institute in the country. So that's why I decided to study here and my family approved my decision and moved here with me. I see. But my question is, how can you pay such an expensive institute? What do you mean? I know this is expensive, but it's the best place to study, so I came here. I don't think you understand, but anyway, I live near here in a luxury house, and Charlie, he is my neighbor. So we both live in the same neighborhood, a very elegant one. Okay, and good for you, guys. I live in Georgetown. We have a farm there and it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. A farm? Wow. How can anyone live in a farm? Yeah, that's impossible. People who live there are, I don't know, they are uneducated. Mm, well, not all of them. I mean, my father didn't study in a university, but I do. And people from these towns don't usually go to university because they don't have the chance. I mean, they have money problems, transportation and so on. It's really difficult. But happily, I can study here, although it was not easy, I'm doing it, and that's great. Stop it, or you're gonna make us cry. <laughs> Charlie and I are going to have lunch now. I would like to invite you to come with us, but I guess you don't have enough money to pay for that kind of food. We'll eat in Luke's restaurant and it's real expensive. I'm sorry. But we can bring you the leftovers, right, Charlie? Maybe that way you can try that kind of food. <laughs> no, I don't think that's a good idea, Peter. If he tried that food, he could get poisoned. <laughs> you are right. 
Ichi's stomach is not used to this kind of food. Yeah, I don't want to get sued for poisoning. <laughs> it's a bad idea. Wait, you two are laughing at me because I live in a farm and I am not like you guys? Well, let me tell you something. You shouldn't judge people, but how they look or wear. Or just because they come from a small village or a farm. That is not good, you know? And believe it or not, you don't hurt me. It's just that I feel sorry for you. I feel really sorry for you. Hey son, are we leaving? The driver is waiting for us outside. Is, is he your dad? He's the owner of half the city. The most important businessman in the city. He's even richer than my dad and Peter's dad put together. You know, we didn't mean to... Yeah, we were just joking. Why don't we go for lunch together? To that restaurant, I told you. No, thank you. We're going to eat in my house. And you could never pay for that. I hope you liked this conversation. If you could improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. And if you want to support this channel, you can join us or click on the super thanks button. Thank you very much for your support. Take care.